Howdy, welcome to Wild Living with Sunny. Today we're gonna to make our own superfoods, a powdered wild green mix that you can incorporate into a lot, a lot, a lot of different dishes. We're gonna go out and harvest some of the greens that are available right now. We are in that transition, or we've already gone through the transition of spring and we're now into summer here in Southern California. So the wild greens aren't really that great for eating raw or lightly cooked anymore. The cell structure has really Really firmed up but there's still a lot of great nutrition there that we can utilize so what I do at this stage is harvest the greens dry them and then powder them so let's head out and uh, see what we can find so there are a lot of different wild greens available in Southern California, but probably the most common that I've seen in great abundance is Melva or Mallow. You can see the plant here. Notice the leaf structure, alternate branching leaves with these little what we call cheeses um, right there. All parts are edible, the stems, the leaves, these little um, Melva cheeses. And then also be sure to notice right behind here we have some geranium. Okay, and notice the difference in the leaves of the geranium and the melva. So you don't want to confuse that. I always want to make sure you are 100% confident you have um, correct identification. And uh, be sure to keep your eyes out for other wild greens that might be past their prime but uh, can still be dried and easily ground up and made into a wild green powder. Throughout the seasons, you can dry your wild greens. So I have a really nice dehydrator here. I like it because I can set the temperature. I put the temperature down about 95 degrees, and it takes a couple hours. Yeah, it takes a couple hours. And when they come out and they're nice and crispy dry, I put them into the coffee grinder. Make a powder or a wild greens flour mix. And uh, I just store it in a nice airtight container in a dark area. So throughout the seasons, you can harvest any wild green that you like. Go ahead, dry it up, and do it in this way, and you have your own superfood. So here we are. We're going to roll our pasta. And uh, to make the dough, I took a mixing bowl, and I added my uh, dried wild greens and flour. I made a well. In that well, I added the eggs and the um, olive oil and the butter. And with my fingers, I stirred all the mixture together slowly and began to form a dough. And I took that dough, I made it for about two minutes, and I wrapped it up and I put it in the fridge to rest. So here's our dough now, and I'm about to cut it. I'm going to cut into some strips. Okay, for our chicken, sage, brush, lemon, butter sauce, I've taken our chicken, lemon juice, and sage, I've put it in a saucepan, and I've let it reduce down by half. Now I'm gonna turn the heat off, and we're gonna stir in our cold, diced butter. What you wanna do is keep on stirring the sauce. If you stop, the butter will melt, and you'll just have melted butter. But with the heat of the chicken stock and the cold butter, if you keep on stirring it, it will make your sauce come together and be very velvety and smooth. All right, so for our wild greens pasta dish, we have our uh, pasta cooked off. We have our lemon sage brush butter sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of the sauce to the pasta. Zest, and the rest is magic. 
thanks for joining us for another episode of Wild Living with Sunny. Live like a savage, eat like a queen. I mean, my gosh, the food was amazing. Thank you, Chef Bob. Uh, I just want to shout out to everybody. Make sure that you're 100% sure that what you're gathering is edible. So be 100% clear on your identification. Never over harvest the stuff, uh, otherwise there's not gonna be any for the next time you wanna go out and take it. And um, yeah, go out, have some fun, get your hands dirty, try these great new flavors and foods. So join me next time.